guys, Nostalgic Grow here, back with another finds video, and this one, uh, it goes back to actually one I did a few uh, months ago, um, pertaining to a coworker that I had that she was clearing out her son's closet, and he didn't really care what happened to the stuff that he had, so she went ahead and said, hey, I know you like to collect, are you interested in these? And I said, yeah, sure. So I picked up a few games from her, uh, you know, we, we made a deal. And she came back and she said, you know, I found some more stuff and I know it, you're, it's just mainly boxes, but I know you're interested in it, so I'll let you have it. Um, and so I was like, all right, cool, yeah, bring it in, let's see what it is. And lo and behold, it was a ton of stuff. Now, the first thing that she had that I knew about was a boxed PlayStation set with the PlayStation still in. Um, so this was pretty cool to get. Uh, I won't pull the whole thing out here, but I mean, it's a very basic uh, PlayStation 1, but to have the complete box, that was cool to get. Um, I already have one of those, but um, you know, it's always good to get, get a second one there. And then she had just a ton of boxes for the Nintendo 64. And I knew she had some boxes for 64 because she asked me about it before. But when she brought these in, I was like, whoa, okay, I did not know this is what you were referring to. So um, up first, there was the um, controller memory card. And these boxes are all in really, really good shape, I should say. So we got the controller pack card there. We have the box for a green controller, box for the black controller, blue controller, and then the yellow controller. So all those controllers I do believe I have as far as the variants are concerned. Um, so really cool to add those. And then she had a ton of games uh, to go as well. But unfortunately, they're just the, the boxes and that's it. Um, so some of these games I don't even have yet. But Road Rash 64. Um, oh, one that I missed here is the expansion pack. Uh, is in there. Mario Kart 64. Majora's Mask Collector's Edition box, and again, these boxes are, some of them are like practically brand new. Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition, South Park Rally, uh, International Superstar Soccer 64, you got your classic GoldenEye, F-Zero X, Banjo-Kazooie, which was a game I bought off her, Mario Tennis, Super Mario 64, so that was it for the games, so obviously a lot of great games there, like I said, some of these boxes are like practically brand new, especially the Zelda ones, which I'm really excited about with that, um, and then she had a couple more boxes of systems, the Nintendo GameCube, and then finally, of course, would be the Nintendo 64 uh, box. So all in all, I, I just couldn't believe it that she brought this in. This was a, this was something that, like I said, I guess she mentioned she had a couple boxes and I told her, you know, like, yeah, I'd help you out uh, getting rid of them. But I did not know that it was uh, these type of titles, some really good titles, some that add a lot of value to games. And yeah, I was just, I was really excited that she brought them in. And so, again, this just goes back to what I said in that video, and I'll say it again. It really pays to, A, be nice to people, <laughs> especially your coworkers and stuff, and then, B, just to simply let people know that you are a collector because you have no idea what somebody could be sitting on. I knew her sons were kind of nerds back in their day, um, and just because of based off the things that she told me, but... Uh, as far as what she had in her her closet still was just amazing and there's a lot of stuff that you know it very well could have been valuable that I just I wasn't aware of it and I told her I'd help her figure it out but um, she wasn't too interested she figured that it might it wasn't really worth it but there's a lot of other stuff that I have a feeling that while it wasn't video game related there's definitely some collectible uh, items in there so it always pays just to let people know that you are into this stuff and you never know what that could reward you with. So anyway, what have you guys been finding? I hope you've been having a lot of success with the garage sale season. I got some other stuff that, uh, you know, I my in or my parents have uh, been picking up some stuff. So I'm excited to get that uh, when I get a chance to get down there. Um, I haven't had as much luck with the garage sales, but I hope you guys are. So anyway, please let me know what you've been finding down below in the comments. And as always, I'll talk to you next time.